Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Since this being the fall, yes, it's still fall, I wanna go ahead and talk to you about cleaning your air conditioner. I'm just gonna show you, show you some simple tips on to go ahead and clean this. Now, there's a couple, uh, couple things that I do need to say. There's gonna be some information that I'm gonna provide here, still just in two minutes, not everything. But secondly, there is just a, a form of uh, thought that you have to give. Um, you're getting up on your roof, you're gonna to have to take this stuff off. So if, if it's not something you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and get yourself a qualified RVTAA, registered tech or certified tech to come out there and clean these for you. Now, if you're going to do it yourself, the first thing that I need you to do is to cut power to your air conditioner. You can do that at the breaker box or simply cutting all power at your service panel. Now, once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and put up your ladder. You're gonna walk up there with screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, to take the shroud off. So let's go ahead and take off the shroud and let me expose what's on the inside, okay? Now, each model's a little bit different, but at the front of the air conditioner, this is what we call our evaporator coils. Depending on which brand and model you have, all you have to do is lift off the inner shroud and you'll expose the evaporator coils. Now, the coils you should be able to see through. This one's never been used, so it's really good. This is what it should look like aside from all the dents, okay? If you can't see through your coils, they're dirty. So what you need to do is go get you some coil cleaner. Now, this one right here, you can get at almost any Walmart. Now, the reason I like this one is, is because it gives us this nice little brush. This brush, once we take those off, can help us clean stuff out and straighten this out. Now, I do recommend wearing gloves if you haven't done this before. This is um, sharp and it can get you. If you're, sli if you're sliding up there too fast, it can get you, so put on some gloves. But what you wanna do is use the cap to go ahead and clean out a lot of that gunk and also see if we can somewhat straighten out some of these coils. Once we put these in here, what I'm gonna do is just pull up and you will see that I'll begin to straighten out all those imperfections, okay? I may not get all of them out, but man, I can make it a lot straighter. And for every one inch, one square inch I fix, I can actually improve my delta T, my change in temperature, by one eighth of a degree. So I'm gonna sit there and just take your time and just clean it, okay? Now that's to get the big stuff out, that's also to get it straightened out. If it's still dirty, now we go ahead and use the foam cleaner. You go ahead and spray that foam cleaner on. Now, there's gonna be a hole into your RV space, so you may wanna go ahead and cover that up, right? So go ahead and grab you that towel, the one that your spouse never lets you use, and set that right there, okay? I didn't say that, but I said it. Spray that, depending on which one you have, because this is evaporator coils, you don't even need to clean it. Go ahead and button it back up. That's all that you have to do. As soon as you turn it on, it's gonna start pulling warm, moist air across there. It's gonna turn to air, it's gonna turn to water, and that'll clean it all off for you, okay? So spray that, straighten that out, that's all you have to do. Last tip, real quick. When you're changing out your filters, that's right, change out your filters. Don't just simply clean them, because every time you clean them, they stretch. You can go again over to Walmart, and you can get the same type filter, okay? Now, this one is larger, which is great, because I can actually make three of my filters out of this. I take the old one, set it down, cut it out as a template. This costs you 96 cents, okay? There's no sense in us cleaning these when we can buy them. Don't buy the HEPA filters or anything else. Let your air conditioner be the air conditioner. Get something else to filter your air. And that's your tech tip. If you wanna be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you wanna open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, Head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs, and get started today. There we go. Let's talk air conditioning, because we do everything right here. <laughs> Just started thinking about that. Certified technician to go ahead and clean these for you, or registered technician, I should say. Oh, I gotta walk way over there. Huh. All right, look, they didn't even see this. <laughs>